Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jagger 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 Two things are probably going on in your mind at this very moment. The first thing is probably what the hell's going on with the flower crown. Let's talk about it, okay? Let's dissect it. Let's discuss. I need answers right now. And the second half of you are probably sick and tired of seeing it because I haven't given it up ever since I did this photo shoot. There's really not much to it. I got my hair styled a couple weeks ago for a shoot that I did with Patrick and I really just was not, I just was not trying to give up. Today I'm gonna to be doing something I never thought I would be doing on my channel. In fact, I've actually roasted this very thing in the past. Teeth whitening kids. You know how many emails I get from companies asking me to sell their teeth whitening kits? And my teeth are already white. Would you buy tanning products for me? Exactly. I have once again eaten my words and have found myself in a really sticky situation that I never thought I'd quite find myself in ever. Today, I'm gonna be testing out Today we're gonna to be testing out a self-tanning product. I'm laughing not because I don't think it's like, black people do use tanning products. I think that a lot of people don't realize like black isn't just one shade. Black is not a monolith. There are light-skinned black people. There are the deepest, darker-skinned black people. But we come in so many different shades. When I found out about this product, I actually saw Natural Nisi using this on her Instagram. And it was such a cute video. It was such a cute demo. And when she talked about what this product, this product is from Vita Liberata. You've probably heard of it. You've probably seen some of your faves using it and raving about it. These are the types of things that when I see them in the title of the video or when I see them in a tutorial or review, I usually fast forward because I know it's not gonna apply to me, right? But I saw Natural Nisi demonstrating this on her Instagram video and I thought it was really well done. She talked a little bit about the product and what it is and I was like, hmm. I'm intrigued. So today I'm gonna to be trying this product from Vita Liberata called the Body Blur. I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts, testing out whether or not it actually does something for me. Before we do get started, don't be part of the 60%. 60% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Smash that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. First of all, how dare I forget to draw on my mole? This is just unacceptable. Okay, so today the product that we're gonna be demonstrating is again from Vita Liberata. It's called Body Blur. Basically, it's supposed to kind of like blur any imperfections in the skin. It's like makeup for the body. And so I thought, what if you could still get all of the aspects and benefits of a product that does that? <clears throat> Um, for those of us that have stretch marks and cellulite. It'd be nice to kind of have something that would like smooth everything out, make everything just look so nice and so uniform and smooth and flawless, girl. And it does have like shimmer and sheen in it. Now at first, naturally, I was like, well, what's the difference between this and like Fenty Body Lava or like any other body bronzing product. Like this is just a body bronzer as far as I'm concerned with blurring properties. But actually I took a swatch of it on my arm and I did notice that like the spot that I left it in without blending it out did leave a stain. So this does have some type of like tan property in it to where like it doesn't budge, but it washes off. So like as soon as I got in the shower, that smudge or that swatch that I took washed right off. So that was great. So basically I'm hoping to use this product and get the benefits of a product that's gonna even out my skin imperfections, that's gonna add a little bit of a glow, that's gonna make it look all smooth and uniform one color without actually trying to like achieve it. Like I don't, I, I, I personally don't think this product is gonna make me darker. I really don't. I just don't foresee that in the near future. And the color that I'm using is, is the darkest shade that it comes in, in, and that's in the color dark. It's supposed to, so the claims on the website, it's, oh damn, this is 45, this is $45. Girl, I'm gonna need a Brazilian butt lift for $45, okay? $45 is a little steep, especially for something that is only just for 24 hours. Like this is a product that you put on and you wear for the day. It's not like those other sunless tanners where they last for like a, a couple weeks, apparently. This is all stuff I have to do research on, you guys. This whole world is new to me, okay? It says it's a natural looking tint, lifts your skin tone, adds radiance and healthy looking glow. It showers off, which is definitely true. I tested that this morning. They do claim that these can be used on all skin tones. I don't know if I believe that, but I am gonna give the darkest one a try. Now I have the application glove, which I'm very familiar with because of Miss Jaclyn Hill and Miss Carly Bible. I see them doing their little thing and I'm like, that just looks so relaxing. I should just buy one of those for lotion application. I'm pretty sure Anitra B sunless tans as well. 
Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive I've seen her using a tanning glove before. When I saw Natural Nisi demonstrate this product, I was like, wow, I've, I've honestly, and I don't mean this to like clown or joke around, I've never seen anyone darker than like medium. I've just never seen anybody with any type of brown in their skin tone using a tanning product. I thought that it was literally for like really, really light to just stopped right at medium. I just didn't think there was anything for anyone darker than that. And Natural Nisi is definitely lighter than me, um, but she's got a little bit of a tan. She's definitely on the chocolatier side, was using this product and it made her skin just look I was like, girl, you're doing something to me. They reached out to me, saw my comment, cause I did comment on her post, fangirling. Totally not expecting them to reach out to me, but they did and was like, hey, we'd love to offer you your product. And I'm like, well, you see what, you, you, I know, I know you see what I look like, right? So I'm thinking either two things are about to happen. You're either setting yourself up for failure, okay? And you wanna be roasted, or you believe in your product and it actually does what it says it's supposed to do and will work on all skin tones and will, you know, at least add some type of benefit to me, even though I am darker on the medium. I'm technically considered like medium dark as opposed to like a deep dark. I was definitely intrigued. They reached out, they sent me the product. I'm doing this video voluntarily. They're not paying me. I snapped about it when I got it and a lot of you guys were like, we need to know the tea. And I've been also getting a lot of follow-ups and that's why we're here. So the first step in your sunless tanning journey, <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now. Before you do sunless tanning is you always, from what I've been told, always want to exfoliate. So this morning when I got in the shower, I got a really good scrub. Actually, the first thing I did was I shaved completely because I never did finish out my laser hair removal treatment. We got to about five and I need about a good three more. So you know, I still have to shave. I just wanted to create the perfect even and smooth canvas so that the tanner can just have just nice smooth skin to lay on. And the great thing about shaving is it does kind of exfoliate for you anyway. After that, I did use like a, an actual scrub on my body and I was gentle. I didn't put on any lotion, so I've just been dry and ashy all day. So we are applying the tanner to dry not moisturized, but also exfoliated skin. Get to the tanning glove. Okay, so I put my hair up because obviously we don't want it all, you know, right there and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna shake this bad boy up. I see a lot of people putting on the, the sunless tanner before they do their makeup, but I think that's because on them it alters the color of the skin. And I don't foresee that happening, so. I did my makeup, you can judge me if you won't. When you're twisting the cap off of this product, you have to twist it for a long time. And that's probably because they don't want you to stain your stuff. Okay, so you're supposed to apply the tan into the mitt and then rub it on. I didn't put on, whoa. I didn't put on very much simply because I don't know what, I don't really know what to expect. But if that doesn't make my skin look soft. Now I will say it does add a little bit of a red tint. Is it just me? Or is it kind of making my skin look a little red? Definitely looks and feels like body makeup. Wow, oh my God. It actually is adding low key, like adding a tan. Whoa, that is cool. Am I tripping? Do you see this right now? Like what is happening? Here's the underside of my arm. Here's the outside. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, I don't know. This is weird. I never experiment. Yeah, dude, this is weird, man. Whoa, oh, it looks really nice though. It just looks like a nice Tahitian glow. Definitely looks and feels like makeup for the body. Dead ass, as my New Yorkers would say. There's definitely a bit of a difference from this side to here, my natural color. Wow. Well, I guess if I ever need to get my foundation to match if it's too red, I can always just do this, you know? You know, this is actually a really, absolutely stunning look. I'm shookington. I'm shooktastic. I just never thought I would ever like use a product like this, but it actually looks so cool. It's a little bit on the red side though. The only thing is, is it definitely adds like this is more of a bronze. Wow, um, I'm, I'm like, I'm in shock right now. Wow, and it's transfer free too. Okay, so this is a little scary because my chair has wheels. Ah! Since the body blur is on this arm, 
I'm gonna keep it all consistent and apply it on this leg. Oh my days. That's a bit of a difference. Definitely looks nice and blurred. Like my skin just looks perfect. I think I have okay skin, but this is like on a different level. This doesn't look or feel ashy either. I definitely felt like this is probably gonna be ashy on me, but I'm not getting that impression at all. So tan, no tan. Tan, no tan. I feel like I just stepped out of Tahiti. Like I just landed in the Maldives. I just look sun-kissed and like a Polynesian glow. I'm just, just getting this very like West Indian vibe and I'm here for it. Wow. There is a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not, like you'd have to really be looking. You'd have to really be squinting with your ears. But honestly, I think it looks really flawless. Like my skin looks flawless. Let's hold it up. Here's my arm on my right and the bronzed arm on my left. So, I mean, way more even. Oh, it's really, ooh, really, well, I did just shave too, <laughs> you know, let me give myself some credit. Okay, it's cold, so you really know I'm taking one for the team, but here's what my normal skin tone looks like outside, and here is with the body blur. So definitely a slight difference, but enough of a difference to where you see the T, girl. And also my legs, here's my normal. Here's the tan. Wow. Wow, you guys. Can you tell the difference between one side of my body and the other side of my body? Yeah, this one's clearly tan. It's more brown. Uh-huh. And that one's a bit more dry. It needs a bit of print. Dry? Technically it is dry, because I didn't put lotion on. <laughs> what do you think? I think it actually looks good. It looks good, huh? Yeah, I would actually, I would, if you use it, and it's not obvious as well, it's like if you were to use it, it's, it reminds me of someone when, when someone goes to um, somewhere nice but somewhere hot in it. Like after vacation, yeah, right? That's the same yourself. thing I said, yeah. So you're getting that natural glow. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate with someone who's got a little bit more chocolate. Chocolate daddy, ah. Did you put lotion on today, babes? No, I haven't put any lotion on today. Okay. Oh my days. I think it's gonna make you look ashy. Oh my days. It looks good on the underside, the underside of your arm, because that's where it's clean shaven. But on the hairy side, not so, well, actually it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, this, why are you yoked, bro? Like what's up with your veins popping out? Do you see a difference? Um, yeah, it's a bit light. I feel like this just made you look all more bronze. So this is the difference on somebody who's got a little bit more melanin, a little bit more chocolate. Wow. Okay, open the underside up. Wow, you can see the difference. You can definitely see the difference. Yeah. Nice, babes. Chop, chop, get on out of here, sir. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and do the other side so I'm not out here looking crazy. The thing I also think I like about this is you can like build this up. Like you don't have to put on like you can go for a little bit more of a milder glow or you can like double it up and really get some bronze going. I was a little worried that because I've never done this before, like you always hear about girls talking about how blotchy their tan is. Maybe this is because this is like a, a 24 hour product or I don't know, maybe because this is more of a blur. I really like it, I think it looks really pretty. Dennis thought it was nice. My skin just looks so soft and even. I like it, I'm definitely happy with it. This is fun, it was easy to blend. We've also confirmed she is very easy to remove. She washes right off. She's pretty transfer proof, just don't like rub it. elbows too much. Like don't be like wrestling with somebody cause it's gonna come off. It is just gonna rub off, you know, it's inevitable. With this, I would have to wear like a more red bronzer to really match what's going on with my chest and my shoulders and my arms. Cause I like my face to match my chest. This look, hold that thought. Like if we just took a little bit of Maui Nights from Becca around my chin and my jawline, I think that would match a little bit better. I don't think I'd have to do too much adjusting though. The way that I blush and bronze could kind of make up for the foundation. I know that some people like using this on their face. I'm not particularly sure if this is a product that you can use on your face. Okay, so final thoughts is this looked and felt like a 
like a filter in a bottle literally it makes my skin look really glowy hydrated technically right now i am my summer foundation shade and my skin does not look this good i definitely see myself using this product for my legs the only problem is then my legs are gonna look more sun-kissed and golden compared to the rest of them. I probably shouldn't, yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Would I recommend this product? I absolutely would. I do actually feel like this is a product that could work for all skin tones. I would, however, like to see them consider switching up the undertones. Like, I like to look at a little bit more golden more than I do red because this feels a little bit more red look at me going outside the box trying new things thank you vita liberata for sending the products this is oh gosh what's going on here i would pay 45 dollars for a product like this but that's me though you know you have to decide for yourself whether or not you'd be willing to do the same i think it looks even better in person than it does on video to be quite honest and i definitely thought this was going to make me look ashy but it didn't and I'm definitely gonna be using this again in the future. So thank you guys so much for hanging out on today's video, trying something new. What else should we put to the test? Something that brown girls usually stay away from. Hmm. Before you leave, I'm gonna put the next video right here. All you gotta do is click, it's easy. You know you ain't got nothing else to do anyway. And in the meantime, you can just sit here and enjoy my bronze body. Just get into it, girl. Oh yes, she just landed in Bora Bora. How you doing?